You want your video to look cinematic? In this video, I'm gonna show you five free cinematic lights that you can use to make your video looks good. And if you want this light, you can check it down in the link description down below. Then you get it. Stick around. So now let's get a jump in Premiere Pro just right now. So here in Premiere Pro, I have some different clips which I'm going to use. All clips here which I'm going to use, it is in Vlog because those clips I use Lumix S5. That means it is in S-Log mode. So here I'm going to use those different clips in order to see what the kind of flat you can use for your own clip, okay? So first, let me start by this clip. This is in Dawson, okay, of this lady. So here it is the black background. Here I'm gonna use there's a fire flat in order to see what the best light can I use for this clip. And I uh, will see for this and we will see also for those clips okay in order to choose what the best lat you can use for your own clip so first let's get a jump on here on this color workspace in premiere pro okay and guys i like to use adjustment layer cause so when you use adjustment layer it helps you to control lat across the clips okay so you came here for this new item then go here on this adjustment layer press okay and then put it on the top of this clip okay and so now you have to click here on it. Here there is a basic correction. The, those are the settings of Rometry Cutter. So and I'm going to apply these LUTs, okay? Here you open up this basic correction. You can use this input LUT or you can go here on this creative and then you use this creative look, okay? So now let me use this basic correction and I'm going to import my LUTs, okay? So here there is five LUTs, okay? Here I'm going to use, here I'm going to start it. Here I'm going to use this first LUT and see the comparison, okay? So when I apply this first LUT, you see how this LUT it is looking, guys. As I told you, when you are using this adjustment layer, it's going to help you to control this LUT across the clip. So when you see it is more too dark the things you have to do you can just adjust the exposure something like this and you can increase or decrease the contrast if you see the highlight is not too much you can just increase the highlight something like this okay so and i'm going to use these clips in order to check all the lights in order to see the comparison okay so let me duplicate this light into five okay so now I have two, three, four, and five, okay? So let me try to put it together and I will see the difference between those lat by using one clip, okay? Okay, all right. So, and let me just add an adjustment layer on those clips, okay? And then each clip must have their own light okay so we are going to use one clip in order to see the difference of these lights okay so this is the first one okay now let me jump on on the second clip in order to see the second light how it is looking so now you browse on it and then let me add on the second light you see how the light it is looking maybe this one it has some more reds on this subject the black is mixed with like a small blue colors okay and this one also you can just increase this exposure like this one if it is more saturated guys you can just decrease decrease this saturation and if it has more red about the white balance you can just put it in this way something like this okay so and now let me import the second one the third one here so let me import the third lot let me see how it is looking now you see this one it has it has not too much contrast okay so if it is looking something like this this is soft this is soft lot okay you can just increase the contrast something like this okay now this is before and then this is after okay so about the fourth one let me increase the fourth one let me see how it is, looks like this looks like 
I don't know it, but it uh, on the highlight of this lot, this mixed with like small green. There are the few green one. Okay, the few green. So uh, let me also increase this contrast. Okay, so I can increase the small saturation like this and even exposure. So I just want to increase the highlight. Okay, for this subject, something like this, guys. Now you see what is the d yeah you see the difference okay now it is looking good so that was before and then this is after so about the last one on this same clip let me see how it is looking now you see this one it is orange and teal this is so nice okay if you want the even this one also you can just increase like this black one okay so small black like this guys either you can use this basic correction or you can use these curves okay by adjusting your the light shadow mid-tone something like this okay so now here we're gonna see the different you see how this first light was looking okay so it has in the shadow of this light it has also like green mixed with blue something like this this is the second one and the third one you see now those lot is totally different the fourth one okay and this is the fifth one okay so and we're gonna apply we're gonna see what the best lot can be match with this clip so and also guys if you have your own clip so now you can download this lot is free you can check it in the link description down below and let me know what the lot is matching well with your clip okay so now let me use this second clip and let me see what what the best lot can i use for example let me just use this first one you see how it is looking guys okay so maybe this is not bad okay so let me try to use like five one okay even this one is matching well with this clip because this clip i shot out the door okay so around 11 a.m okay so it has enough light even this one this looks good about okay? this one also this is this is nice okay i use this lot in this song okay you can go to check it on youtube okay even you can check the link of this song in the description down below you will get it okay so about the third one too you can just choose the best lot okay let me choose any lot i want here so this is how it looks on the fifth one you see how it is looking guys when you see the this lot it is when you see this lot you can i told you, you can just increase the exposure you can increase decrease exposure highlight shadow something like that in order to give your footage more cinematic look okay so what about this clip so i shot this clip around i shot this clip in the morning maybe it was at 7 a.m okay so it is also have the controlled light okay so now what kind of the light can i give this footage you see now this is not looks good about on this so maybe this one can be better okay yes about the third one or oh, this one also it's not good for this clip guys okay it depends depend what the kind of clip you have what's the location how your subject it is okay so now you see maybe this is good one okay about this one you can just yeah, adjust the contrast you can just adjust, adjust the saturation you see how this clip it is looking something you can adjust any yes black shadow something like this and even also you can use those settings as you say curves creative something like that okay in order to give this in order to give look for this clip okay even also if you have like a rec 709 you can just use this basic correction for adding this for adding that rec 709 and then the look all the lot you can use this creative okay so maybe this fifth lot and this second one this is looks good okay so now you the things you have to do you have to adjust those settings about basic correction so guys 
this is how you can apply the lat in your clip so now let me know in the comment what the best lat is matching with your clips that's all guys if this video is very helpful to you please hit the like button leave your thumbs up subscribe like share and drop the comment down below and let me know what you think and we'll see you next video peace